Jared here on YouTube and welcome. We are doing our very first M19 draft and wha-bam, we freaking did it, chat. Uh, we did it, Reddit. What's it like? It feels good, man. This is good practice for drafting better decks, yeah. That's how Kenji first started his first draft too. Mm, it is nice. Hmm. So let's do a thought experiment. What if a Johnny adversary of buddies weren't in the, the, the thing here? I think maybe the pick is... Bone to Ash could be good. Um, if you want to draft like a slower deck, I think. Uh, Diagraph Ghoul looks like whatever. Uh, I th think I already YouTube introed Rototo, but I think I did. The land is actually a duel. It's the red white land stone quarry. Uh, yeah, I think it's Angel of Dawn. This card seems pretty good. Um, I don't want to hover over it because I don't want to lose my Ajani pick. Ooh. I don't know what this does. Magistrate Scepter. Put a charge counter on Magistrate Scepter for four. Remove three charge counters from Magistrate Scepter. Take an extra turn after this one. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm into this card at all. Um, Hola, como estas? Hey, how are you? Happy to welcome, welcome. The elf is quite good, says Louise. This one, the elvish rejuvenator. When elvish rejuvenator enters the battlefield, look at the top half cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield topped. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So it's like um, Borderland Ranger, except you don't get to search. Yeah, it seems playable. I, I could also take Anticipate, I guess, but... No reason for that, necessarily. I don't think the Vampire Neonate is too good. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the Elf Ramp, dude. Ramp into a Johnny. Like, that's playable. Also, it leaves a body that you, then you can, like, start pumping up with, with a Johnny. So I think that's not too shabby. I got nine hours to plan something to do with friends and figure out where to eat for my birthday tomorrow. You got this, happy dude. Also, happy pre-birthday. And that's super exciting. Nothing else here is exciting. No. Oh, the Enigma Drake is in the set. I didn't... I haven't... I haven't looked at the full spoilers, so I'm kind of going into this a little blind. Um, Desecrated Tomb. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one black creature token. Black bat creature token with flying. I am not into that life. This all looks bad. Um, I guess I could take Manolith. It's just a reasonable card to take given what else is going on. There's, like, no good white cards. Like, I think if I get Invoke the Divine on the wheel, like, that might be reasonable, but... Manolith and Besad, Manolith, Thornhide Wolves, or Invoke. I mean, I could see the, like... I Trusty Pack Beast. Which one's the Trusty Pack Beast? Oh, really? When the DTBs return artifact card from your graveyard to your hand? I guess if I end up with some, like, reasonable artifact, I could do this. Alright, I'll take the Pack Beast and see where we go from there. Um, Meteor Golem is, like, such, so ridiculous given how, like, not impressive he is. 7 mana 3-3 three, three destroy, non-land permanent. I guess it's non-land permanent, so that's kind of big game. Also, if it, if it dies, I can get it back with a trusty pack beast, per, per chance. Also, Elvish Rejuvenator ramps us into it. Wait, why is my computer being so difficult? Close up. Stop bothering me. Maybe Spooter? I'm kind of into the Meteor Golem, I don't know. It, it's kind of sweet with uh, with Trusty Pack Beast. Ellinger! Ooh! I love seeing people's TwitchCon badges. It, it just shows them, shows me that they're, uh... Shows me that they're, um... Going to be at TwitchCon. Yeah, let's take the Golem. Go, 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 Golem. Uh, blue looks reasonably open. Like, I actually am kind of into this Essence Scatter. Uh... Though, Poison Tip Archer, 4 mana 2, 3, Reach, Death Touch. Whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. That card's really good. The only problem is that I'm three colors. Yeah, the Archer looks really good. Maybe I'll take Poison... God, now I regret it. Now I regret the past the, the Pack Beast uh, pick, because I would like to have a Manolith. Gabriela Cappuccino streamer. Yes, I think I'm gonna archer. Well, I'm gonna play a Johnny no matter what. Um, like I will make sure it happens. Uh, but we'll we'll find a way to splash this poison tip archer or whatever. Exile target permanent with convert him at cost one. These these like super narrow rares I think are so weird for core sets. Oh, 
nice baby wolf. It's the size of a rat. Um, Rock's Oracle. When have I not been three colors? I think corsets are usually two colors. But, I don't know, maybe it's three colors, though. Talons is better than I thought it was originally. Talons of Wildwood, two mana. Like, I'm going to take the Rock's Oracle, I think. I'm going to make some pizza. Uh, Wall of Vines, one mana, zero, three, Defender Reach. No thanks. Uh, <laughs> three, seven, Vigilance. This has got big booty. I think I just want a, a dad ma. Hey, Gabby, chat, are we drafting anything fun? Yeah, we're drafting a blue, a Celestia deck, maybe Abzan. Drama's think, Yeah, Dad, Mom. Uh, Plummet is actually kind of a nice sideboard card. Uh, I could take a Greenwood Sentinel just to have. Hey, Ellinger, how are you? Ooh, I like the, the booty. Is that is that Cauliflower's emote? I think I recognize that dragon. Yeah, I could see taking Greenwood Sentinel just to have a two drop. It's not the best, it's not the worst, it's just okay. They might open a Johnny in his first draft as well. I like that booty. I do love me. Big booty, big booty, big booty. Uh, I'm gonna take Greenwood Sentinel just to have a two drop. Well, they keep passing us this Knight of the White of the Tusk. So maybe we should take it at this point. Yeah, Ellen just go Oh wait, Ellen just going to TwitchCon 2017. <laughs> I actually I'm not going to lie that uh, the TwitchCon 2017 badge I think looks cooler than the 18 badge, but they I think they are right to make them different colors or whatever. Macabre original art is very strong. I'll take the Tusker, whatever. I'm I'm playing white. Like I'm not not playing white, so whatever. Maybe we rupture spire is horrible, horrible way to splash. Oh, we wield the thornhide wolves. That's not the worst. Uh, enchant creature, enchant creature gets plus two, plus two. That's literally all this card does. This card's horrible. Wow, that card's so bad. I'll take talons of wildwood. Another sentinel. So someone's in white. We have to get the white hook up on this side. Yeah. Oh, I, I I'm digging my talons in. People, people better move, better move aside because I'm playing white no matter what. <laughs> Don't even try to shove me. I hate those PT boosting RS because I know I'll see a million of them in arena. Yeah, you guys were doing the MTG arena event. Oh my god, this card's a real card. Four mana, five, three hex proof. There's like a lot of cards that give evasion, aren't there? Why though? I'm going to take Angel. Yeah, I, I agree, Molly. Fuck this card. <laughs> yeah, this card's so stupid. Why is this card real? I, I, I almost couldn't believe it right now when I read it. For reals? I know, like, there's mares in every color, but fuck. I think Vine Mare's the only hexproof dude in the set. Yeah, it still sucks. It's a 5-3 hexproof. Can't be blocked by black creatures. And there's, like, ours that get flying and stuff, you know? We should take it. You don't think it's Angel of the Dawn? Yeah, I hate Hexproof. I'm so off it. Maybe maybe Stupid Vimer is just better. This is so cool, though. I like this effect. I want to see how good this card is. It looks really, really sweet. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we get Knightly Valor after passing the Stupid Mare. Uh, the Mana is still here. What does this guy do? Cavalry Drillmaster. 2 mana, 2 one when it ETBs. Dark Chick gets plus two plus two on games first strike until the turn. Well, that's nice for White Weenie. I think I just went Knightly Valor. This is what we do to horses in this channel. <laughs> yeah, the angel reminds me of um God, there was another five drop that did something really similar in a, in a similar set, and it was just such big game when you played it. We could have had Enchantress. We could have. It just didn't seem like it was gonna be good. I don't know. I, I don't like those Enchantress kinds of decks. They are not my jam. Yes, Dawn Feather Eagle is what it, what it was. That card is a big game. It's like Eagle Replay, basically. Well, whatever. I'm going to take Nightly Valor. <sighs> what are you doing? You're another horsey. Shield Mare can't be blocked by red creatures. When Shield Mare enters the battlefield or becomes the target of a spell or ability, an opponent controls gain three life. 
Yeah, that card seems, like, very reasonable. It's less impressive, but it's still not bad. Not bay at all. Also, if they want to kill it. I think the upside on the enchantress over pure fillers we're taking. It also for signaling purposes. Doom to center looks like Obama, let me see. I don't see. Oh, it's not in this pack. 2 3 seems good in this format, a lot of 2 twos. Yeah, I've seen a lot of like the gallon cavalries and stuff. Ooh, where's our alert? Why isn't it showing up? Mr. Horrible, thank you so much for the 25 months. Hold on, let me make sure your alerts show up. Mr. Horrible. Let me. Woo! Thank you so much, Mr. Horrible, for the 25. I appreciate it. You guys want to take Orchard? I think I was happy taking the mare. Uh, Ages of Heavens is two mana. Target chick is plus one plus seven until on the turn. What? What a weird. What a weird stats boost. What a weird card. I could take the Forsaken Sanctuary now, and then we can splash the Poison to Archer. Like that's not too shabby. Or we could take Centaur Courser, which is just a Centaur Courser. Three mana, three three. Liam, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Um. Liam, I almost didn't recognize you because you always do that emote of that like dog's face like right on your face. <laughs> Corsair is legit. It basically depends on how much we want to play uh, Poison Tip Archer, but I'm kind of in for Corsair. Three minutes, three is just a good deal. Yep, that one, Liam. I always recognize you because you always use that one. Uh, I'll just take Corsair. Druid of Horns. Hmm. Whenever you cast an R spell that targets Druid of Corns, create a 3 3 beast creature token. Ooh. But we're not really on the Enchantress plan. We have like one Knightly Valor. Thought I mix it up for once. <laughs> Which makes me feel that maybe. Uh, it's. Maybe it's the Bristling Boar? I kind of don't know. We're still in the middle of pack two, so we could take Druid of Horns and pick up more enchantments. We don't have the Enchantress stream. Invoke over boar. And talons. We have... Yeah, it's high upside. I... I don't think we're Enchantress theme. I'm gonna take the boar. I'm about to get owned, obviously. But I kind of think the boar is, like, a very reasonable card. And we're not... We, I think we might have let the ship sail on the Enchantress theme. Yeah, same, Molly. I also, like, don't like doing that. I Like, that's not one of the things I like doing in Limited, so I'm kind of off it. This is weird. So you basically turn their bombs into two fours. Transmogrifying one enters the battlefield with three charge counters on it. Uh, remove a charge counter, destroy a target creature. It's, so you can also, like, upgrade one of your creatures, potentially. I kind of want to try it. I mean, like, I think you guys know me, but when a set is out, a new set is out, I'm kind of in to try all the rares, because, I don't know, you just don't know. A Johnny's Last Stand, 4 mana. Whenever a creature or planeswalker you control dies, you may sacrifice a Johnny's Last Stand if you do create a 4-4 four, four white avatar creature token with flying. When a spell or ability in a plane controls causes you to discard this card, if you control a planes, create a 4-4 four, four white avatar creature token with flying. And there's Obama. He kind of does look like him, doesn't he? <laughs> Uh, it kind of, I think it kind of does a little bit. The last stand is weird. It just, it needs a lot of things to go right for it. I think I'd rather take naturalize. Kind of borderline racist. No, he actually looks like him. Like his facial expression looks kind of like him. Last stand is legit. It looked like it was very. Um, uh, s circumstantial, like very situational dependent. I think we just. Oh, this Druid of the Cow's a good wheel, and we got the naturalized to go with it too. Uh, I'm not really in for this thing. I think I just take a plummet and move on with my life. He looks like Obama looked when he had to leave the White House. <laughs> Last time looks good for a creature heavy deck. Yeah, maybe I should have taken it. Maybe. I I was a little concerned because it seemed really expensive. There's like a non zero chance it comes back around. It was not picked highly. Um, Tranquil Expanse is just like fixing for us, which I'm okay with. 
I don't think we need another 5 drop. Um, because if we put Rupture Spires here real quick, we're at 19. Yeah, yeah, we're at a good spot to take a duel, so we just take it here. Ooh, we got another Dadma. Uh, none of these look good. This instant looks horrible. I'd rather take the enchantment, I think. Uh, oh, we, we got, we got the four, so maybe... Maybe no, I hate this card. Let's not do it. No, don't talk me into it, Chad. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. This card looks so bad. I don't want to. Don't make me. I just wanted to draft a deck with three X Millstone and Psychic Corrosion. Can you actually? Is there like a a mill? Is there a mill in this set? Uh, Chad, do it, Gabby. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I'm into it. Palladium Moors the Ruiner. It's a six mana six dicks. Flying Vigilance Trample. Palladium Moors the Ruiner has hexproof if it hasn't dealt Golden damage yet. I'm snapping this off. I don't care what you say. Neville! Gold Snake Plus One Hype. Thank you so much, Neville, for the 25 months. How was your weekend? Did you pre-release? Uh, and how have you been? You guys, I don't, I don't care what else is going on in this pack. I'm taking this dragon. I am in it to dragon it. Easy big boy. Yeah, so we are off the poison tip archer plan and we are into the rupture spire plan. Uh, ooh. I mean, look, I guess if we're already splashing red, we might as well bane fire, right? God, I'm regretting my mana with picks so badly. Jesus. Because, like, alternatively, we take big horsey, but I really am not. You either die here or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Like, I really don't want to be the person drafting the Vine Mirror decks, but I bet I'm gonna be. This Meteor Golem and this trusty Pack Beast are looking, like, exceedingly mediocre, by the way. At this point. Alright, let's fix some fixing, shall we? Uh, ooh! Ooh, Elvish Rejuvenator is, is nice. Um, also, Gallon Cavalry is also really nice. Electrify, no, I, I really don't want to take more red cards. The Banefire Palladia thing is, like, kind of all I'm looking for. I <laughs> get this deck to the KF. I think the Rejuvenator, Calling Golem Medium, I just feel like I have a lot of thickness now, so I don't know that I want a 7 drop. Like, I have 1, 2, well, I ideally don't want to play this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, like, 6 plus drops. Yeah, I think I'm Rejuvenating too. This card was really good from like the very, ooh, hold on. That is like the best thing we could have opened. That's amazing. Especially with double, double, da double dad ma. Oh yeah, we are, we are doing it, Molly. We are super doing it. Gift of Paradise, we did it, fam. All right, let's get rid of uh, Trusty Pack Beast and... See if there's anything else. Uh, these like green wood sentinels look like pretty shitty. Uh, this town of wildwood, let's get it out of here. Uh, yeah, my deck is nice. Did you like it? I worked on the mana base a lot. <laughs> I don't think I'm playing this necessarily, but I might just because I still have the knightly valor. I think it's the elf uh, gatekeeper just because we uh, want to make sure that we splash the Palladia more as the Ruiner and the Banefire. Necker, I think uh, Gift is just needs to be in like the right deck and then this is definitely the right deck for it. Rupture Spire number two. No, no, no. I I'm not even sure that I want to run the first one. Like, I think I'd rather take a random smelt or, like, root snare for the sideboard than... Well, I'll just take the smelt, actually. Uh, ooh, Elvish Rejuvenator is another good hookup here. These are great because they, they basically do kind of exactly what we want them to on three and get us a lance for, like, our big game. And they're even, th like, things that can totally protect... A Johnny, and they're even like nice with the Angel of Dawn. Like, we just get a lot of value out of them. Uh, Inspired Charge is not too shabby here. I think that's what we want. 
I don't think I'm playing it. Yeah, exactly, Molly. Like, I just want stuff that, to protect Johnny or, like, counters to end up somewhere. You know, I don't, I don't need, I don't need much more. I can't ask much more of those rejuvenators. Gabby, you can start taking more red cards and splash white instead. Um... No, I think I like where I'm at. Uh, cause being double white with a Johnny does mean that I that I do want to have like a good amount of uh, a good amount of white. So it does mean that I do want to just splash the red. Though I will take the shock here probably. The abyss. Thank you so much for the twenty-seven months. That's some big game. It's pretty disappointing that the Highland game is like such small game. It really is like the smallest of the games. I could just take, like, I don't know. I guess I could take the Highland game and just board it in against the aggressive decks or whatever. Um, I think I'd rather have a Bristling Boar than another Druid of Horns, because the only enchantment I have is Knightly Valor, which I'm running regardless. So I think we board out Druid of Horns. There are a lot of thick stream adversaries today. You guys have had some big ones. 27... Naturalized for status. I have one. I already have one, so I think I'm feeling. I'm gonna take the boar for sure. For show. Bow for show. Uh, uh, giant spider's actually good. We are pretty weak to flyers. This is like the last creature I'll run, probably. Booter. Zemo is cool. Thank you so much for the seven months. Welcome back, Zemo. Thank you guys all for the resubs. I appreciate it. I, I love the weekends. It's nice to like kind of like I disconnect a little bit from Twitch. Um, and just kind of like, I don't know, go do stuff outside, especially if it's the summer. But once it Monday rolls back around, I, I, I'm always just so happy to be back on the stream. This is all whatever. Oh, this is like one of the commons you guys were telling me about. Four powered. This is like a common four powered. Four, two. What a weird card. Uh, this nonsense, but I'm not playing it. This nonsense, but I'm not playing it. You love the weekends because you're making more race of on Mondays. <laughs> Let me get this island out of here. Uh, let's move all this nonsense over. Yeah, we're not playing the archer anymore because we got we got the hookup in in the Naya swamps. Hey, Gabby Hope, everything is good. It's good, Henry. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you again for the five months. I really appreciate them, and I hope you're doing fantastic. How was your weekend? You guys, tell me about your pre-release stories. You didn't quite finish telling me. You kind of told me a little bit, a little some some. I want two druids. This shield mare is like looking kind of medium, actually. Though I guess the inspired charge I might also not play. Um, the wand looks fine. All my ramp looks pretty good. See you soon, Garab. I don't think I'm an inspired charge sort of deck, to tell you the truth. Yeah, gatekeeper. I just feel like. I feel like my gate, my deck is just like, I could not be convinced to play Corset Sealed. Maybe I will draft. We'll be all right. Though. We'll see, Molly. I I do like Corsets. I think they can often have like pretty good draft formats, though. That said, there's a couple of things in this, in this format that I'm like not super excited about. Mostly like all the rares that are really weird sideboard hate cards for modern. I find it very strange that they put them all in like M19. So it's like, what cool rare did I open today? Oh, your basic lands don't tap for, or your non-basic lands don't tap for more than like one mana. Is like, all right, and then like the person next to me opens Palladium Wars, the Ruiner, you know. <laughs> My friend opened two of Johnny's in the same pack and still won three two. Jeez, Mikuchi, that is that is pulls that color. <laughs> when oh oh didn't release Benny. It was fun. It was nice to return to the basics. Felt like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, I, that's what I do like about corsets. I'm gonna play the shield mirror just because I don't buy that I want inspired charge. Like I would want this in like a beatdown deck, but I feel like we're more of a slow deck um, that wants to play the big stuff. Actually, I don't even know that I want Rock Oracle. I might be in for like small game, or greetings, human. Hey, TK. Mary M nineteen to all. Mary M nineteen to you. What are you guys saying? Do I just play another, um... Because I have such good creatures. Like, I'd rather play me uh, Meteor Golem than, like, Rock Oracle. So I could just play another... A Highland game or, like, a Greenwood Sentinel. 
It does draw you an extra card, though. Meh, let's just play the Rocks Oracle. All right, let's do some lands. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm playing Tranquil Expanse. I don't want to play Rupture Spire. This card's bad. But I think I have Palladia, and I also have Banefire, so I probably should. Jesus. I think Inspired Charge decks are going to be thinking. Oh, for sure, Nikolai. I agree with that. We won our pre-release and got 12 packs. I opened Nickel Bullets, Chromium, and the Angel. Jeez, Purple Jenny. Just raking it in. Uh, I'd rather have a Mountain than Spire. Rupture is a trap. All right, you guys are right. I, I, I would rather have a Mountain than Rupture Spire. I think it's terrible. It, it always just puts you on turn three, which is just not where you want to be at. Uh, ten... Forests, four plains, and two mountains. That makes it so that we have one, two, three with the Gift of Paradise and potentially any of our Elvish Rejuvenators. And then this is four, five with Tranquil Expanse. I think we cut a forest because that puts us at ten forests, and this puts us at seven plains. Um, and then three mountains is okay. Okay, let's take a uh, screenshot of Reno's and let's let's go battle. Got the legendary bear, but it was unplayable with the rest of my stuff. Which is the unlegendary bear? The legendary bear? It's hard because I, I both don't know the card names yet and I haven't seen all the cards in the set. <laughs> so I'm being real helpful, I know. Three mounds you have two. I have um Gift of Paradise. Hiya, Freddy. Makes all your creatures power four more, cost two less. I don't think I've seen that card. Gore Claw. Let me see it. Uh, card. Gore Claw. Good, Freddy. How are you? Gore Claw, Terror of Calcisma. Legendary creature, bear four, three. Creatures you cast with power four or greater, cost two less to cast. Whenever Gore Claw, Terror of Calcisma attacks each creature you control with power four, it gets plus one, plus one, and trample until the turn. Yeah, I mean, that card's cool, but it does need a lot of help. Oh, yeah, the, the Gift of Paradise was the second we got it. It was just so great. Uh, yeah, we can totally make this work. Yeah, Format of 4-3 is also not the worst. Like, you played that in, in a lot of draft formats. Like, in Dragons of Tarkir, you would just routinely play the, like, what was it called? It was like the Yeti? It was a Yeti, right? What was the name? Mountain Yeti? Something? Summit Prowler, that one. <laughs> yeah, this hand is great. Look at this hand. It's just all Elvish, mono Elvish rejuvenator.com, Meteor Golem, Angel Dawn, to pump all these punks. Hmm, my opponent with a Foul Orchard? What's it like? Then your opponent's like Chain Whirler into the deck somehow. Cheat. There is a Chain Whirler lookalike in the format. In that it does something similar or it looks similar to it. Ooh, Centaur Courser. That's medium game. Uh... Uh, we have double white for like everything we need, so let's get another green, I guess. Nightmare Horse C2, Plague Mirror can be blocked by creatures. When Plague Mirror enters the battlefield, creatures your opponents get minus one, minus one until the turn. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> nice five cards. You guys see that? We basically just drew five. Uh, I'm not attacking with you. At least we didn't ship our Johnny to the bottom. That was kind of nice. You need more lands, though, so maybe not really. Yeah, I do need more lands for my hand, but I bet we're just going to draw one with uh, Elvish Rejuvenator anyway, so. See? Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think we should just play Dreadmo. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's dread more for sure. Let's get in there. No reason not to. Friend's younger brother who was sent open a full Crucible of Worlds yesterday. Jeez, that, that card's worth money, right? Hey, Crunchy, welcome. So, I assume they don't have a trick for my Dreadmaw. I, I should just play Angel of Dawn and, like, send, probably. I could go Valor and the Maw, but if I just send it with Angel of Dawn, it also makes my creatures pretty thick. If I draw a land, I could have Angel, uh, I could have Meteor Golem kill this thing. Yeah, let's just play Angel, I think, and we jam. They, like, clearly don't have anything. The only thing we're not sending with is the... Is the Elvish Rejuvenator, because that's just a bad block. Oh, they do got a little something something. Show me what you got. Oh, they don't. Come on, why can't I have sex through that? Stupid. Do they have... Damage four, yeah, electrify. All right. Yeah, that is all good. Yeah, they, they two for one themselves. Rise from the grave, the Dreadma. All right. Well, if I draw a land, I could have. Oh, it's a Golgari. No, wait. What happened to it? Colossal Dreadma. What happened to you? It's black in addition. It's black and green. Yeah, that was kind of a big game from them. Notifications not coming through. Hi, Gabby and chat. Hey, Bim, I don't know what happened with notifications. My notifications seem to be working just fine. Uh, I think I'm going to Nightly Valor the Angel and just start bashing. Because they are going to die super fast to that. Imagine if we had three plus and first strike so the angel was big. Yo, Bennett, how are you? How was your weekend? Did you pre-release? Yes, the remotes are super duper cute. Angry Turbot says, open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. <laughs> I like how Rise is Zombify, except that actually zombifies a creature. Yeah, 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 because it makes him black in addition to its other stuff. Enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has trample. It already did. Return talents of Wildwood from your graveyard to your hand. That is acceptable. Hey, B. How are you? Welcome. Well, I'm not really walking this. I accept. Ooh, we did it. Uh, if we meteor golem this, we hit for five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Balloon, how are you? Welcome. No, my Twitch app notifications on the phone, not your side. Oh, I see, Bim. Yeah, they're they're kind of shitty. I I've missed so much stuff from uh, from from other streamers too. That like I'll only notice once I've I'm on Twitch later, and I'm like, oh, you were streaming. Like I I know I get notifications for you, but I don't see them. Good, B. How was your weekend? Did you get to pre-release at all? Meteor Golem does have cool art. He's like, I'm gonna get ya. My Twitch app notifications work fine. Yeah, I used to get emails. This is back when I watched a little less Twitch because then I subscribed, not subscribed, but I started following a lot more people. Um, but I used to get emails and like, it wasn't super reliable. Uh, they have Zombify. We didn't see any flyers. We saw a Centaur course or a Manolith. And we saw that enchantment, but it comes back from the graveyard so i don't know how good like naturalize is um yeah our deck is cool it's just like a big mana deck with a, a couple we have kind of a greedy splash but we have a um, gift of paradise which makes it a little bit better yeah i don't think Don't think naturalize is gonna be great. 
I think I'm just sending it back in. If we see one more, like, enchantment target-ish. Ooh, this hand's good. Turn three boar. I like that. I did not. I was super grumpy about it too. I get my fellow drafts though. Aw, B. I'm sad you didn't get to make the pre release. Does a dragon's hexproof check if it has dealt damage this turn or. I have to read it actually. I haven't seen it. Ooh, that was kind of interesting. Alright, well, let's just play this. Uh, some dude pulled the entire deck from sideboard against me at pre release. Wait, are you serious? Like they cheated and they pulled out, like they pre made a deck or like what did they do? Um, given that they just did this, I think I'm just going to play Forest and Giant Spider. After it deals damage, it loses Hexproof indefinitely. Yeah, I, I don't even remember what it's called, so I haven't read it. I, this is my first time playing it. I am excited, though. What? That was so strange. Yeah, they just bit my druid of the cow. What the hell? I think I'm just playing this guy. Yeah, I like our deck. It was it's a little bit better when Druid of the Cow is alive. Their their attack was pretty rude. Pretty rude if you ask me. Zoe plus sipping tea would be amazing. Oh, that would be cute. I don't have a remote. I do like Roo's stream though. I think he's a great streamer. I'm like medium tempted. I do like the sip emote. I think it's so cute. It would have to be a Zoe too. Um, I'm medium tempted to bane fire the centaur course and start attacking with a bristling war. It's like this card is pretty hard to deal with because the next turn I can do angel of dawn like, uh, and just send again. Like I don't know what they're playing next turn. If they play colossal dreadmaw that would be pretty annoying. All right, let's just do it. I think it's fine. How annoying do I think Banefire is going to be in standard? I don't think it will be too annoying. I think it'll be just okay. Um, there's no point in attacking with Giant Spider, but I will send with this guy. That is fine. Oh, I think I have a little bit more time to set up some stuff before I angel. Like, here I get to ascend with Bristling Boar again. Yeah, this, this boar's actually doing, like, pretty solid work against them. They can't block it. And I go land. Play Wolf. Cap! Don't make me just paying for my recurring fee for... <laughs> <laughs> Kep, I, I enjoyed Luis being like nonsense with your name on his stream. It, it was pretty funny, I thought. Oh, look at me. I'm just, I'm setting it up so that. They just play Child of Night? Is that possible that that's all they have? Mickey Mouse, 1995. Thank you so much for the first time sub. Welcome, welcome. Like, part of me wants to do it right now, and part of me wants to do it next turn when I have Greenwood Sentinel and Elvish Rejuvenator in play, you know? And do the part where he was nonsense less, or the part where he freaking buffed me in draft. He did actually kind of get you, huh? I think I can send with both of these. I think that's fine. Get in there, punks. Mm, they do have a little Trixies now. Oh, they didn't. All right, that's fine. Mm. 
Mm. I'll just take another forest, honestly. We don't need the... They do have nothing. Oh my gosh, Molly, that's such a cute emote. That's a Hafuz, right? <laughs> oh, thick. Vivictus as Madi the Dyer flying. Whenever Vivictus as Madi the Dyer attacks, for each player, choose target permanent that player controls. That player sacrifices those permanents. Uh, each player who sacrifices a permanent this way reveals the top card of their library, then puts it on the battlefield if it's a permanent card. That's a lot of words for like any card. This is that's a classic too long didn't read. I'm pretty sure I'm just sending with everybody still. Hold on, what do their blocks look like? They block I chaos warps one permanent of yours on attack. No, the, it, it, it's only when it attacks, so they have three blockers. They block my three biggest creatures. This, this, and this. I get in for three, five. And they, like, lose a bunch of their creatures? That seems good enough to me. Yeah, that card is good. Synchronized for the first time so welcome synchronized welcome welcome Hope you're having a lovely one. Yeah, so they're gonna eat my wealth wealth This one's gonna trade They're gonna take six this one eats shit They can't really attack with this guy next turn Yeah, we're still in a good spot As it turns out, heroic reinforcements is good. Synchronized, by the way. Enjoy your emotes. Vipers, let's look in the snake. Is this a snake pit now? This is a snake pit stream now. I was able to kill this opponent into attacks up through the uncomfortable chill in some life game. Nice. I like it. Look at this Viper pit. Ooh, this is a, a nice snake pit. I hope they warp you into your dragon. That would be so sweet. They can't attack here as a thing. Because if we attack we, and we send with everybody, they would have to... Oh, wow. Okay. They must have a blocker. Oh yeah, what if we just hit our dragon? That'd be so dope. So they're gonna eat probably my angel is my guess. Or the boar. Yeah, I think the angel's probably a bigger threat. Alright. You guys ready? Well, I'm not sure they attack. They are going to kill our boar. Ooh. Ah, uh, Pluto! Never stop alpha striking? Yeah, that's the life that we're living. Thank you so much, Pluto. I really appreciate it. Click Auras to attach to them. Uh, I would like to attach that onto my angel. I'm pretty sure. Though I guess I end the, the thing just... Okay, they conceded. Anyway, I was going to put it on the angel. That's like our best hit. It, it is both... We could have even blocked to kill the dragon and then... But we just kill them on the backswing when we don't. I just attached Nightly Viral to a Palaka Worm. That's nice. Pluto, you had a tweet that was so relatable this weekend. It was the one where you're like, we got a roommate so we could have more money to do more things. And I spent all my money subbing to, to people on Twitch. Because I was going through my Twitch subs the other day. And I like, I had too many. <laughs> I was like, I feel really bad because there's all these people I want to support. But my gosh, I, I'm like spending so much money a month on, on subscriptions. It was, it was hashtag relatable. Squirrel, welcome. How are you? Sir Wormy Face. Squirrel, did you uh, double uh, blood point weekend for DBD? I ended up not doing it at all. I ended up hanging out with Los Padres, which are still in town. They are still with me. You have 44 active subscriptions. It's a problem. Yeah, that's still more than me. But at some point I was like, 
at some point I was getting to like 17 or something and I was like, that's a lot of subscriptions. <laughs> so I had to like really wind it back. Uh, look at our mana base, yo. This hand's good, I'm gonna keep it. It's been a long time watcher, Gabby Vod's got me through my old job. Aw, synchronized. I'm happy to hear that. How's I'm hoping that your new job is better too. It's like a relationship where you don't have the heart to break up with them. Yes, totally. <laughs> so what are we working with? Uh Trugar, our deck is super good. Um hi. I don't need like it, it might have some inconsistencies because of its mana base, but it's like a pretty good deck otherwise. Um we are like a green ramp deck that has like big beef like the bristling boar. E. When via Sheen or Pyromancer searches the battlefield deals two damage to target player or planeswalker. The card seems good. There's like a non-zero chance that I might gain fire that thing. If we're playing Oh no no no, we're playing against red blue. Long time viewer here. How are you liking it? He's like, hey, Dragon Mage, welcome. Um, I am liking it okay. I don't like that there's all these circumstantial rares that don't make a lot of sense. Like all the sideboard cards for modern are so weird to put in a core set. It's fine when you have a couple, but it feels like the set has just so many of them. Uh, I don't know how fast they are. I think I can slow roll the Bane Fire. Flavor failed. Neither Knightly Barrel nor Knight's Pledge make a creature knight, which is bad for my Valiant Knight. Yeah, so I decided not to kill this thing. We'll see if this punishes me. It only has like three niche sideboarders. I think there's a bunch. From having looked at the spoiler, it looked like there was infinite. Ooh, a Transmorgrifying Wand. Well, let's kick it off with Borino. Hope it resolves. Question, I played three pre-release events, and every time I felt the pools were clunky. Draft any better? So, True Guard, this is my first draft, and it's hard to say. I had one pool that was just busted because every single rare that I had was in my colors, and we just crushed people with that one. No! Okay, that was just going face, though. That's fine. Ooh, that was nice. All right, I don't think they have um, an answer to this for one red because there's only there's only shock. Enigma Drake, huh? But it's an O4, so I don't really care about that. The Viachin. Oh, the Viachin only goes face. Oh, target player or planeswalker. Never mind. I, I thought they could actually go creature. That card would be really busted. It would be an uncommon, I guess, if it could go. I dubbed these your boar. Oh, wait, that's bum. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's, I guess we kick it off with... Good design, go face. <laughs> Let me play my transmorgifying one in case things go, like, really bad badly. For whatever reason. I don't think I want to use Bane Fire. Sixty-nine bits, giggity. <laughs> you guys, who here's gonna go to TwitchCon? They started selling the the twi actual TwitchCon badges like um this weekend or something. Remember the one sorcery speed? Uh that's less exciting than I thought. You're in the tanker body? You should go, Cap. It'd be so cool. Probably. Hey, Canela, how are you? Let me just play myself a shield mare. Oh, how cool. It's like a dragon's blowing flames at the shield mare. What the f- Are you for reals? Are you being for reals? I'm like super not into this nap that they're making me take. Kinda wanna just kill the Enigma Drake. Um, 
I could... Oh, I know. I can transmogrifying wand my knight. I could transmogrifying wand my knight so that it blocks these two punks. I should just bring fire this thing. And then I can turn my knight into a 2 4. Banefire phase. It is close to Banefire being lethal, but I don't know. I just don't want to die against this, and I, I don't have any blockers otherwise. Alternatively, wait, new play, new play, new play. I'll let this thing get in. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then I might make my knight. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this thing into, into a two, four. All right. I assume is what that ox sounds like. Yeah, then then think my Drake is whatever. Like we don't really care about it too much. Get oxed, bruh. If this card were instant, that would be so much better. I mean, I guess it's like still find a sorcery. It seems pretty cool. Transmogrifying wand. Also, who's this wizard that can only turn things into oxen? <laughs> The only thing that beats us here is second sleep. Uh, yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said busted. <laughs> I was talking about it, Johnny. You think the gameplay is much better at sorcery speed? I do think it makes it more uh, a little more interesting because you have to make the decisions before, like... I like, guess not as easy as just holding up wand all the time against a removal spell, right? We had to, we had to kill our token. Jeez. All right, well, I'm blocking everything. Okay, this was just desperation attack. Cool, we didn't have to show them a Johnny or Bane fire. How you like me now? They have one Drake and then a couple of Yashinos. I kind of like Plummet, but we only saw one target. A Johnny enters. Was it better or worse than when I opened Gigantosaurus? <laughs> that's so that's so good. They might have trumpet blast. Uh they could. I still block them though. Block them good. I'm so sad you didn't try for it. What, I didn't try for what? Oh, Gigantosaurus. Look, Chad, I promise you that when we open Gigantosaurus and draft, we will draft them on a green deck. Like, that's gonna happen at least once. Chat, can you can you riddle me something? I feel like I'm not as tuned, like I'm not as dialed in to, to the like Magic the Gathering YouTubers, but all I ever hear is like people fighting against each other. Am I like wrong to, to hear that or am I just hearing like a weird part of it? I feel like all I ever hear about is people just fighting against each other. I'm gonna keep this hand. Yo, Karin, how are you? Oh, it's like Arc 4N. I always read it as a card. I'm gonna go you arc four. YouTube drama is the entire point of being a YouTube person, I thought. I think so. I don't know, Kep. I just feel like all I ever hear about the magic YouTubers is that they're always fighting with each other. Oh, look at this technology. We use the Elvish Rejuvenator and then turn it into an ox. Wabam. People fighting sounds like the internet. I feel like that's a super small portion of the YouTube space. Maybe I'm just not dialed into it enough, but I swear it's like all I ever hear is people just fighting against each other. What the? I guess we needed to draw land, so bricking is fine, but there goes our Meteor Gala and Bristling Boar, Colossal Dreadmaw, Knightly Valor, and Palladia. Good beats, good beats. Ah. <sighs> 
Hide fights on the internet. We need more Jedi. <laughs> as far as I can tell, there's a couple super dinguses on YouTube and they're responsible for all the dramas. Maybe that's the case. I just, I don't know what it is. I, that's all I ever hear about. All, it, everything is that. Uh, I'm gonna leave this guy back. I'm just gonna play a Centaur Corsair. Kind of like the Portals 3 design card of Diao Chan where... Oh god, I thought I was getting Essence scattered. I hope no one is fighting you. Get me. No one's fighting me. I just, I don't get it. I Like I said, I feel like from my very small scope of... I don't consume as much. I don't think I'm even swinging there. Chicken Kenders, thank you so much for the seven months. Maybe I should get in there. Jesus, what is this? When it ETBs, you may pay another three if you do deal three damage to any target. Well, then. You want to fight Mortal Kombat style? I don't think so. No, I'm never drawing lands ever, Molly. If I do draw a land, I can play this giant spider and it stops this guy. I guess I'm just playing this thing. Nobody would dare fight versus Gabby Spark Army, I'm sure, in a community of Royal Magic community is better, for example, other games. No, I wouldn't. I don't think I've ever gotten a beef with anyone like that, but I, I just don't understand why, from like my very small scope of it, all I ever see on Twitter is like people fighting against each other. And I'm just like, why Why is everything about fighting against each other? And I don't, I don't know if I'm just seeing like such a small. Okay, we're definitely bringing Plummet next turn. Land, land, land. Yes! Thank you, dealer. So happy. Send these two in. Gabby, come up with a beep so I can get those sick YouTube clicks. <laughs> Alright, little do they know that I have a giant spider lurking. Wasn't one better there? No, I actually want to develop my board. I think I care more about that than the transmogrifying wand. BK needs to get affiliate so I can get a BK beef then. <laughs> Pick a fight with a professor. He seems easy enough. <laughs> Gotta start small. <laughs> BK, what the fuck is going on? BK, I was just asking chat if I was like seeing things in a weird way, but it felt to me that, well, my opponent is on mono flyers dot deck. This, this spider is doing God's work. Okay, I'm still never drawing a land. It seems. God's plan. God's plan. I might have to Enigma Drake kill the Enigma Drake eventually. Um, I don't have attacks. Seriously, what the fuck is going on? BK, I was saying that I feel like magic YouTubers, I, from like the very small scope that I that I see, which is not very big, all I ever see is them, everyone fighting against each other. Um, so I was asking if I was just seeing things. Oh, fudge. The good news is I get to transmogrifying wand. I guess this doesn't actually do anything. God, I need to draw Banefire. Oh my gosh, I think my opponent doesn't know that this isn't at instant speed. That's great. Oh, I'm still just dead. <laughs> with it. Uh, we dead, boys. Gabby finishing the story about when? Yeah, we just drew forest. I was just asking BK if that was accurate or if it was just like the very small scope I was seeing. And people were saying that it's the very small scope I was seeing that just in general. It seems like people are more okay with that. It's just I'm seeing like a couple people who all they do is fight against other people. Synchronize is suggesting... Your WWE finisher for Anaconda Vice. Cheat him out into playing Banefire yourself. Jeez. All right, so let's bring in a plummet. Um, do I have another spider or no? I do not. Oh, somebody said that they wanted you to stream because they wanted a BK beef uh, emote. I have the angel, the spider, the boars. Um... I like all my rejuvenators. I think the sentinel's kind of medium. I can bring in the plummet for that. 
I could also see playing Highland game over like some of the biggest things we have. Maybe like Colossal Dreadmoss, a little bit of- Oh no, actually, Rock's Oracle's like pretty shitty. They all have X2s. Uh, BF watches Hoogland and then the only bit I pay attention to is rant. Example, the banning of Death Ray Chan. That's a little bit different though. I was more talking about like drama with like between... Alright, we're gonna keep this one. Between uh, like the people themselves. It's not like drama about just like things that are happening in the YouTube or or magic community or whatever. Yeah, we have the super nice dragon. Well, we just drew all lands last, last game. We weren't gonna win that match. Mono lands control. Can I get a druid of the cow? That would make me so happy. Ooh, that's really good, actually. Hello, Mr. Hades, how are you? You hated the DRS ban, I feel so long. Aww. That's sad. Long time no see. Good to see you, Mr. Hades. Where have you been? It has been a while. That's pretty thick. I need to get another white source. Oh well. <laughs> Mox Bagel, thank you so much for the four months. Sounds good, Mox. See you in the leagues. Uh, there goes our plummet, our Palladium Wars, Colossal Dreadma, and another Elvish Rejuvenator. So we kind of bricked, actually. <laughs> Instead of White Source, how about you never cast your dragon? That is kind of the life we're living. Um, <sighs> they want to attack? They want to trade down their 2 0 with my 1 1? I have this Ajani. I kind of like want my creatures in play, but I'm just. I don't know. If they want to trade. This is like such a bad trade down. Did they just have another one? I bet they just have another one. Yeah, that was a nice block. Get in rewarded. Alright, you can never block ever again. Or attack. Yeah, they totally just... Oh. God. Inferno Hellion is kind of annoying. Because I would like to play Angel of the Dawn. But if I play Angel of the Dawn, it's just going to be 5 mana... Are we attacking and offering the trade? No, because we saw so many flyers from them, DC, and we saw our plummet and our other flyer go down. So if this Inferno Hellion ever gets me, I just wanted to hit me, you know? <laughs> Car salesman wraps the roof on your hand. This baby can fit so many forests in it. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just playing Angel and not... Offering the trade. I guess on the plus side, if we draw a uh, white source, then they don't have Inferno Hellion to attack our Johnny. This is actually kind of tough. I think our spider is really valuable, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Especially since we know our like two other answers to two other flyers are at the bottom of our deck. It does! My shirt does say the revolution will be streamed. It's a Steel Series shirt. Yeah, I'm gonna let it just seven ball me or whatever. It's annoying because I, I would like this um this Ajani to come in and start, you know, beefing up my stuff. Oh, yeah, baby. Hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time. They might bounce it back to their hand. That would be pretty annoying. Don't thud me, bro. Don't thud me! But I think we're supposed to just take it. I accept your Enigma Drake. Oh, baby, baby. Damn it! I drew my other mountain. 
stupid. Yeah, Gatekeeper, I, I, I am kind of into, like, never blocking the Hellion. It just always hit me. Hit me! Yeah, we were- that was so good. I'm so happy we didn't block with that spider. Please, can I get a white source? No, I got small game instead. Dude, they're gonna draw sleep and I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> yeah, Belly. <laughs> Dude, don't sleep me, bro. Oh my fucking god. For reals? The Inferno Hellion was no bueno. Who do I think is the best limited planeswalker? Like, of all time or of this set? Because I think a Johnny's pretty good and the other one, Vivian, is like pretty sick. Oh yeah, the, the Highland game's going under the bus for sure. Um, think I'm just pumping the Highland game and the Giant spider? I guess if I pump the angel, I can start attacking. I mean, either way, I'm playing a Johnny. Sadly, he's gonna go under the bus. How Highland Game is the name of a creature? Oh, it's just game is the name of like animals that you hunt. So this is like game that lives in the Highland. It's, it's a reasonable name. Uh, okay, let's put some counters. Uh, we are putting counters on... I don't even know if putting counter... I mean, if we put a counter on the Highland game, it means it can't draw the, the Hellion. It would trade, but I still take a bunch of damage. Like, maybe the Highland game's just gonna block no matter what, and I put counters on Giant Spider, Angel of Dawn, Highland game blocks, I take six and then gain two. So I go to three and go up to five. But then they can draw the Inferno Hellion again. I think we're just gonna bank on them not drawing it again. Let's pump these two. Spider and Angel, right? Angel can eat Drake and they can team up to block up the Hellion without getting the two for one. Um. Yeah, we could also double block, I guess, and take no damage. I kind of was into the Hellion just hitting me. To die from lightning strike? Yeah, well, if we died a lightning strike, I don't think we could beat lightning strike in this spot. Because they just respond to a Johnny tick up Killer Angel, send with everybody, and we're fudged. Am I playing heroic reinforcements? No. Damn, I had no idea. My IQ just went up to 500. Thanks, QB. <laughs> But that's why it's funny, because that's why people say that it's big game and it's actually like very small game because it's just a 2 1. <laughs> now you're just dead to Alpha? No, I'm not. If anything, they're gonna attack a Johnny. Are we browning? Well, last game we didn't draw Land Louis, so we lost that one. And I'm trying to stabilize against a bunch of things. They. they I took a 7 ball from the Hellion and they just drew it two turns later, so now I'm like trying to figure out how to deal with the Hellion again. <laughs> hey Gabby, do you use extra lighting for the stream? If so, what do you use? I do, I use some umbrella lights. Um, I have one on this side and one on this side. I've been considering getting a ring light, because ring lights are cool and they're not expensive anymore. They used to be pretty expensive. They're like less than like $100 nowadays. Yeah, if they, if they get sleep, we can't beat sleep, so I'm not worrying about it. If they have sleep, like, sleep has just browned us every time they've drawn it, so. Enchanted creature gets minus six, minus O. Oh. Whenever enchanted creature blocks, destroy it. That's kind of annoying.
Ooh, they are just going. And they're going face. Alright, let's figure out some blocks. If we block this here, if we just throw this thing under the bus and block this here. Um, I mean, our angel's gonna die no matter what. We get to eat this thing. One gets in, these two trade, I gain two. Oh, the angel dies before damage? Oh, I didn't realize that. That's really stupid. So maybe we go like this. Let me see. Oh, when it blocks, destroy it. So, I guess if that's true, we could block like this, like this, like this. And then, I guess this doesn't quite eat it, but it blocks. I guess this is still just better. Yeah, so we go like this, look, we... You like Spider on Drake, this one? Do you like Spider on 3, too? I mean, I can see that, too, and then this here, but this is... Why wouldn't I just put that there? Because this is going to die. So, like, why would I just block the drake when I can actually just eat this thing? Oh, you'd go like this and then the game on 2-1? These trade, this just chumps one turn. That just doesn't even feel worth it, does it? Then I take 7 and I gain 2. Yeah. Then for that matter, I almost just don't even want to block with an angel. Because we just lose it. Whatever. I'm blocking. Oh, well, get fucked. <laughs> I died with a Highland game trigger on the stack. No, Callus, you're fine. If the, the it would have been so sick if if the thing didn't have trample, then we could just block. And then we could have just blocked the stupid Hellion. But instead, we got browned. Hellus V's never the voice of reason. No. The, the blocks were reasonable, it just sucks. I mean, it's like the same thing as, like, Boris Reckoner, right? Like, a lot of times people died with the Boris Reckoner trigger on the stack or whatever. Uh, this hand seems good. Hasn't Watsi heard of Resuscitation Highland Games? Should have taken you back up to two life. Yeah, you guys, finally we have the dragon in our hand, so we can't just, um... Oh, what is this? I have a... I see an ant. An ant in my pants. No, it's actually up on the wall. I want to... I want to kill it. Sorry, buddy. I don't know what you're doing in here. Oh, it was a fly. It was a, like, fruit fly. It looked like an ant. I didn't kill it. It, it, it flew away. It was not a moth. Don't worry. That, that, you, you'll hear me scream when it's a moth. <laughs> I'm such chicken shit. You'll hear the gooby whales. It was just a little fruit fly. But it just, it looked like an ant the way it was crawling on the wall. And I don't want to get like an ant infestation. Ant-Man appreciates you. Did you guys see Ant-Man? I did not love the movie, I'm not gonna lie. Does somebody have the moth? I didn't, I didn't know that somebody clipped the moth thing. That's pretty funny. What is this? Gargoyle Sentinel. Three mana. Oh, I used to remember this card. Defender. Until the turn, Gargoyle Sentinel loses Defender and gains flying. Mm. 
Yeah, Ant Man and the Wasp came out, but I didn't like the OG Ant Man, so I was kind of like off it. I don't think I really want to attack with my Centaur Courser here, especially with Angel of Dawn in hand, so let me just. Um... Yeah, Luis and I watched Ant Man and we just like couldn't really get into it, and then we ended up just fast forwarding through the movie to kind of see how it ended because it was just not great. I'm going to decline the attack here. I don't really want to trade with the gargoyle. No, I really want to see it, Squirrel. You know what movie we watched yesterday? It was really good. It was uh, Spotlight. It's uh, the movie about the Vo Boston Globe as they were... Sky Scanner as they were investigating the, um, the church. Yeah, the movie was so good. Um... It was so, so good. Tranquil Expanse. All right, so let's just go... This is six. Maybe I should have just played Tranquil Expanse, and then next turn I could... Whatever. I'll just play Angel of Dawn. It's fine. Yeah, I... I was, like, so dead set on playing a land molly that, like, I didn't even re reassess once I drew the Tranquil Expanse, and now that I have two six drops in my hand i'm like damn that actually didn't work out if i draw a land uh, just a uh, untap land it's gonna be fine but it, that was just not great sequencing uh, my superpower is to reduce my size to be able to be killed by anything step through swatted ant man <laughs> yeah penguin if we do that'll be good we do have some pretty pretty good blockers now or sorry uh pretty good attackers now That is true. Ant Man's supposed to get like stronger when it's shrunken, cause like that's the power or something. It doesn't really make sense, but that's the power. Uh, ew, look at us. We drew untap line. Flying, sacrifice another creature, put a plus one plus one counter on Ravenous Harpy, so it can be a uh, three four. All right, I ain't too scared of that. Not too scared of that. I think I think if their plan is to block and eat both creatures to eat my angel, I think I accept that because then they lose their whole board and then they transmogrifying one to kill their harpy. So I'm going to attack with everyone and let that trade happen if, if they wanted to. Yeah, they're they're being buck buck buck. Buck 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 buck. Deal with me. It's not instant speed. No, I know this is not instant speed. I know it's sorcery speed. I mean, if they want to do that... Um, I, I am fine later transmogrifying it. I'm just saying, they lose their whole board and then they just transmogrify it anyway, so... Why did the Palladium Wars the Ruiner and Meow? That was my best dragon impression. <laughs> Maybe I need to get some dragon soundboards. But that was, that was my best dragon impression. It was a roar. It was not a very, like, menacing roar. Was it really? <laughs> Maybe not the best one. Diamond Mare. The color chosen is black. As Diamond Mare enters the battlefield, choose a color. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen color, you can you gain one life. Oh, so there's a mare that's colorless too. That's like whatever, I think. Um So, I think the plan now is <laughs> Mr. Horrible. <laughs> I think I'm just uh, going to transmogrify one, the Ravenous Harpy. Because then they can't block anything. 
And then I just send with Palladian Angel. One is nice since it stops them from going all in on the Harpy too. Yeah, 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 totally. Because I don't care about the Diamond Mare. I think the only card I care about is the Ravenous Harpy. Because right now I could send my Angel and they could eat the, like, the Diamond Mare and the Child of Night and then they eat my Angel. Um, or even just like one creature. So I think I'll use my first one. Yeah, I'm leaving them with the ox is no big deal. The ox is fine. Yeah, Gargoyle is three to activate, so it can't jump. Zeloton, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back to the brood. How are you doing? How's your weekend? Did you pre-release? Tell me, tell me. Do tell. All right, so our Palladia has lost Hexproof, but they are at five, so. The straight target creature you gain through life, rude, but sure. I might be oxing the, the Gargoyle in a second. Not yet, but soon. Uh, they're gonna block this, this, and like one of these, and we get to kill two. They get to kill my Dreadmai. Yeah, this is fine. Acceptable. Yep, it's the blocks we talked about. Yeah, I just kind of don't want them to have a gargoyle, because that one jumps, and now I don't have to transmogrify anything. So we're going to transmogrify probably our Elvish Rejuvenator. We'll see. I don't think we even need to right now. Yeah, NFC. Ooh, ooh. Getting frisky, aren't you? Um, I think we just want to do these two for a total of four. I could also do Ox in this, but I really want the Gargoyle dead. Could also kill the Mare? Nah, let's get the Child of Night. Swing! Let's play this guy. Oh man, I wanted the Meteor Golem. Damn. Damn, son. Yeah, exactly, Molly. No, I think I think I agree with you. I think it is better for it to be not like that. Uh, seven Deadly Sins, Dota. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Seven. I appreciate that. Welcome back to the brood. I am gonna transmogrify. Look at my magic. I, I just think that Ox attacks better into this nonsense. Because I'm going to start attacking with, like, both. Because if they double block this, I can just trade here. And if they double block here, I don't really care because I got in for six. The elf had a family! At the beginning of combat in your turn, target artifact creature you control gets plus two, plus two, and gets indestructible until end of turn. Well, they're not really attacking because it's on your turn, so... Fantasia! How are you? It's good to see you. How's your weekend? Hey, snakes! Hey Fantasia, look, I'm gonna hook you up with some vipers. I looked away and we were forced to palladial us. Yeah, uh, my opponent liches caressed it. She touched it in a way, didn't like it. Uh, walking corpse. This diamond mare is actually being kind of obnoxious. All right, I don't really have. I don't really have good attacks with the Ox or the Centaur anymore. Let's just send with an Angel. I think trans, transmogrifying. You're swapping the RNG. Oh, let me see. Transmog. Yeah, you're right. Transmogrifying. That's what it is. Good. I had a pre-release. Uh, went three zero and bring my son's win streak to eighteen in a row. That's so cute, Fantasia. I'm happy to hear your pre-release went well. Ooh, I like Rock Oracle. Rock Lobster. Uh, let's let's see what's inside the Rock Oracle. Show me the way. Ooh, I could almost replay Colossal Drone. I'm just gonna stand back this planes. Let's get in there with Angel of Dawn.
I was on a ton of name. I stole my prayer laser seven. Oh gosh, it's the. <laughs> I think this card is so stupid. What is this? This three mana three two flash like black card. Why though? <laughs> like I get it's like ambushing you as you're like leaving your bar or whatever, but it's just so ridiculous. My opponent has so much. Life gain. Keep getting in there, Angel. That Diamond Mare is doing so much work. I'm like medium regretting not killing it before, but like, whatever. Also, if we draw Banefire at any point, it's just game. Yeah, it's understand. Like, if this had Death Touch, maybe. Like, that card would be so cool. Yeah, it's got it's a hired blade, three mana, three two. He just kills anything. Like, I actually would like it, but it's just such a joke the way it is right now. Oh, go back up to six. Yeah, it needs death touch, right? It's just so weird. Okay, my opponent has infinite cards. I don't, I can't really attack on the ground. Can I get Banefire? Yeah, he's not that that deadly of an assassin. He's just like not. Maybe he's like a bad hired gun. <laughs> For reals? I want to be pretty upset if they have a pump spell. Electric! Thank you so much for the first time sub. Welcome. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Oh. Like, I don't think that killing the mayor was ever correct, but it has been pretty annoying. Electric! Here you go. Some snake arenas. Drunk assassin. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Swing! Draft or sealed? This is draft Fantasia. Banefire does it again. Uh, okay, so we saw some flyers actually. We saw. Uh, two of the Sky Marcher blood letters, right? And then we saw the Gargoyle, which jumps. Yeah, confirmed. Banefire or Fireball still good and limited. Smelt? No, I I, th I don't think I want to smelt. Um, I, but I do think I want the plummet. Cause remember my, my blacks my red splash is kind of rough like it's I don't I don't actually have that much. That's what Tony the Halloween just tastes like. Why smell when you can naturalize? Yeah, also we could just naturalize. But we saw the the mare and the gargoyle right, and I think I actually care more about their flyers because we just have a lot of grime creatures like both of us did. Um. Yeah, so I think I do want to plummet. I'm going to take the green with something loud because it's just, just, just medium. And... And they almost certainly have the 2-4. Which 2-4? Oh yeah, the 2-4 uh, white, white black card. That would be a, re a good reason for them to be in their colors for sure. Alright, so we'll just bring in the plummet and I think that's all we want. Yeah, the 2-4 that if whatever condition is met, it becomes a 4-4 four four or something. I, I played against that in the pre-release. I have no idea what it's called. Yeah, the one that makes bats. If they, like, gain life, they make a 1-1 one, one bat or something. Yeah, Vampire Soldier 2-4. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain life, this string create a 1-1 one, one bat. Okay, yeah. I was, like, somewhat close to <laughs> what it does, but yeah, I played against it. In the pre-release, and it was very good. It browned me. Uh, we're on the draw. We have a centaur courser. We hit our third land drop. I think this hand's good enough. We also have this in case they jump something, or they just have a net, like a blood letter. We would plummet it for sure. But show. Let's keep it. Mm. Boar is a good draw if I can draw two more lands. Maybe I'll just draw my druid. That would be so sick. 
Magic. I might bring, bring Naturalize against that. Uh, that was a very good draw. They even get a token if they gain life before it's in play, it's busted. Yeah, no, the card just cares if they gain life in the turn, right? So you don't even know. Like, where will you be when the Regal Bloodlord strikes? All right, them not having a creature and just having a Marauder's Axe is excellent for us. Okay, now we need to draw another land. But then our curve's pretty sweet. This. Like that. This is probably the order we play things in. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they go equip that thing, I don't draw land. Land, 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 land. That's better than land, so I'll do it anyway. Shring. You hope it's better? Yeah, so I'm gonna play second white, I think think because we do have the double white spells what did i all reveal there oh i don't get to see i didn't actually pay attention to what i put bottomed oh wow look at this technology medium cards you had a Dreadmaw on some chaff. All right, I'm not. I'm not too sad about letting those things go. I'm not sending the Elvish Rejuvenator, but I probably am sending the Centaur Courser and then just playing a Bristling Boar. I would like to draw some lands. My hand's thick. Yeah, they didn't want to. I accept. <laughs> From Sky Scanner to Sky Slammer. Question for Gabby in the rest of chat. What is your favorite piece of magic lingo? Um. Let me think. I think Dead on Board is the one that I use the most, like, in the outside world. If that makes sense. Like, I say Dead on Board a lot. And I've said that to my sister, and she, like, got the concept even though she doesn't play Magic. I think it's, like, pretty useful. Um, yeah, like, saying you're Dob. Because being Dobbs is so useful for so many things. Like, ooh, they are going to go for the equip send. In response is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond Mare. All right, we are going to be bringing Naturalize. It seems like we will be. The other thing's hitting us for five. Oh, it's be things being such gas is really good too. Can I misquote you out of context on that? Being able to say that you're dead is so useful for so many things. That's a card in response to a bomb you can't answer. Yeah, that's really good too. Valor on boar. I kind of like angel and smash. I think that's what I'm going to do. It just gives my other creatures like some pretty nice attacks here. up to this guy i always say remember rule number one does not equal yeah one one does not equal zero is is also really really good oh saying it resolves to things irl is also pretty funny okay sky scanner has to be on unlocking duty now because now if I draw if I draw land, I can plummet the sky scanner, uh, knightly valor the angel. Oh no, never mind. I can't do both. Knightly valor's five mana, not four. Never mind. I'm not doing that. Lich's caress killing my angel. There's no way they're sending though, right? All right. That shows me. I also found another whisper one that else you might be interested in. Send it to me, Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't have it open right now, but I can take a look at it later. Uh, I kind of like plummeting the sky scanner in response to the the 
this thing next turn. So I think I'm going to send... Sense our Corsair and Bristling Boar to get in there. Um, they might put this here and they might not even block this and they'll just go Rejuvenate or Plummet this thing. Like, I think that's better than Wolves. And Knightly Valor doesn't seem like that amazing right now. Like, it, the best thing we would have put it on is the Boar. And then we get a 2-2, two -two, but the only problem is the Flying Attacker at this point. Yeah, so they're going to take 3... What am I interested in? Oh, somebody just sent me a whisper that they thought that you and I, and I might be interested in you more than me. Can I get a red source? Yes! Yes! Yes, yeah, exactly, Seven. I'm just not in for it. They're still getting in there? Heck no, son! Oh, jeez. Thick. <laughs> That's fine. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I have no way to deal with the Marauder's Axe, I don't think. I can just block this forever with an Elvish dude, so let me just play Palladia. Oh, if we get a land and we Meteor Golem this and we have them sack that, it's so good. Oh, that's right, because this is just permanence, right? It's not just creatures. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing if we get there. Please, dealer, let me draw a land. It's going to be so good. I am so in to kill this thing. Golem, Gabby, Punt. It costs seven mana. I can't play it. Back from playing triple millstone draft one game one with Mill and got to emblem a Johnny with a mentor of the meek in play. So I can't complain. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, untapped land. We only have one tapped land in this deck, right? Let me see. Yeah, the Tranquil Expanse. What did they do? Ooh, they're going in. Yeah, I know we're supposed to Valor the Dragon. It is just lethal. But what, do I, what am I supposed to do if I draw? Okay, that made the decision easy for me. We drew our, our tapped land. Saved by the tap land. I really wanted to destroy it. I, I was probably going to do it. <laughs> if I drew an untapped land, I was gonna. You can't not kill the Philictary Lich. Which was boss. Actually, I'm not even going to attack this. I don't know if there's like any instant speed thing that gives things uh, lifelink. Like if they wanted to block with this. Yeah, screw it. I'm just sending with Palladia. So rude! That was so rude! What the hell? Alright, whatever. We're still fine. Are there any instant speed spells that give you- that give like a creature lifelink in this set? That's the only reason I didn't want to attack with a centaur. Now I don't have hexproof anymore, sadly. Just chump. I do get to kill a counter now. That's gonna be nice. Realistically, I should just kill whatever. Whenever an opponent... Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Stupid. Stupid. 
No instant lifelink in the set. All right, so in that case, it was probably good to send with just the, the centaur courser or whatever. Um... I guess technically what I should do is meteor golem this thing. Just blow up the stupid lich. I, I do really want to. I really do want to. But isn't, we're technically supposed to play meteor golem kill this thing and send with all, right? That's technically what we're supposed to do, I think. No, I'm gonna kill the, the, the lich. I need to do it. <laughs> it's obviously wrong. I want to do it. I need to kill the lich. I need to do this for me, chat. I need to do this. TBS, how are you? Welcome, welcome. GG's. Oh, I'm not gonna get a chance to kill the lich! I needed to see if... <laughs> I really wanted to kill the lich! But I wanted combat to go through because I thought maybe they had like an instant speed black spell and they were gonna gain one and then they killed the lich. Show was boss. Life's a lich. Yeah. Hey TBS, how was your- did you pre-release? How was it? Also, you had a really good tweet the other day, or like was it today, about the- what's a story that's super uh, on brand with like your, your theme or whatever? I thought that was really good. Uh, liches get stitches. Have you played any M19 and has your opinion on the artifact deck changed? So I haven't played very much M19 side run, um, and uh, I don't know of the artifact. I don't know about the artifact deck, to tell you the truth. Uh, let me wrap up the video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. This was our very first uh, M19 draft. We didn't draw Johnny too much, unfortunately. We only like played him one time. That was a shame, but our deck was sweet. Um, if you like this, I'm gonna have more videos like it soon since M19 just came out. They're gonna be over here, some suggestions. And if you wanna catch the stream live, you can go to twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later.